All right, in this video I'm going to show three different ways that you can graph a line, a linear equation. Uh, so the first strategy that we can use is we can use a table. So if we have our equation y equals two-thirds x plus two, what we can do is we can create an xy table and we plug in uh, x values and we can just pick three x values that we choose. Let's do negative one, zero, and one. It doesn't really matter. I just chose those because they're easy to work with. And we're going to plug those in and then um, find the corresponding y values and then just graph those three points and then draw the line through it. So we start by plugging in negative one. So we can say y equals two thirds times negative one plus two. Well, two thirds times negative one is a negative two thirds plus two. And then negative two thirds plus two is a negative one, or sorry, a positive one and one third. So we can say that this is one and one third. Okay, the next one is uh, we can, uh, we plug in zero. So we say y equals two thirds times zero plus two. Two thirds times zero is just zero, so y equals two. And then let's plug in one. Uh, the last one, so we say y equals two thirds times one plus two. And so two thirds times one is just two thirds plus two is two and two thirds. So we have two and two thirds. Okay, so now our graph up here, these are each going by one. Um, we come and we say, okay, when x is negative one, our y is one and one third, and so we go there. And then the next says that when our x is zero, our y is two, and when our x is one, our y is two and two thirds. And so we see then that we can draw our line right through those three points and that is the graph for y equals two-thirds x plus two. Now we, we do three points just to make sure that uh, we don't we didn't make a mistake on one. Um, if we did then we'd be able to see because it wouldn't be making um, a straight line. Uh, the second option that we can do is we can use the slope and the y-intercept. So if it's in slope-intercept form which is y equals mx plus b we remember that our b is our y-intercept and m is our slope. And so we can look here and we say, okay, our y-intercept is negative one. So it crosses our y-axis at negative one and then we go, we rise, because our slope is just rise over run, which is one over two. So we rise one from that point and then we run two then we rise one, run two. And we could continue that pattern on if we wanted to. But what we notice is that we have our line right there. And we put arrows on the end because it's infinite. It goes on forever in both directions. Okay, the last strategy uh, that we can use is uh, we can use slope and a point. So if we're given a um, slope of three and a point of two negative one, we start with the point and we go out to negative one. And then from that point, we use our slope. So our slope again is rise over run. And in this case, it's three. And if we write three as a fraction, it becomes three over one. So we go up three, one, two, three over one. And then we can go up three, one, two, three, over one again if we want to. And then what happens is we get our line going here. And I would recommend that you use a ruler um, in order to make them nice and crisp. So those are three ways that you can graph a line.